What's up guys, welcome to the Stats Free Sports channel. Let's get right into it. Here to bring you a video on if the Los Angeles Angels should trade Shohei Otani. Let's talk about it. So, rumors going around now that teams are calling in like crazy to try to land Shohei Otani before the August 2nd trade deadline. It's very unlikely, to be honest. Um, but teams are calling in. But um, the question for me is, you know, and the Angels uh, have outright said no. Uh... And that's reports from John Morassi from MLB Tonight, or MLB Network, excuse me. He uh, put out a tweet saying, at MLB teams are calling the Angels to express trade interest in Shoya Tani, but the Angels are indicating they have no plans to move the superstar before August trade deadline. He, tied, uh, he added MLB Network and at MLB Network Radio, which makes sense. Like I said, it's too late. It's not too late, but kind of a tight window right now to really trade him but the question is should the angels be trading him i think so i think the angels should be all in on trading shoya tiny as soon as possible they are a struggling franchise right now haven't went to the playoffs since 2014 and uh not to mention they have two of the best players of the generation on their squad in mike trout and shoya tiny uh, Shohei, uh, 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 can't talk. Shohei Otani, excuse me, will be a free agent after next season. He's only making five point five million right now. Uh, he's due for arbitration, like I said, next season. Where he'll be a free agent. Um, I just don't see where he stays. I don't see it, man. The, the, the team sucks. <laughs> the team sucks. You can't have Mike Trout and uh, and Otani and be currently eleven and a half, twelve games back out of the wild card race. That's crazy. That's insane. You know, so I think they're just delaying the inevitable, honestly. It's going to happen, you know, or, or he's going to leave for the free. So you better go ahead and trade him now or trade him next off or this upcoming off season. You know, um, I think best bet, they're going to really have some inner working talks, you know, with, with, with within the organization. And I think they're going to come to a conclusion that we need to trade him this summer. I mean, or this, this all season, excuse me. Um, I think during the winter, they're going to kick the tires around, talk to each other. But I think they'll decide on the right decision, man, because there's no point in keeping a guy like him, all-world talent, pitching and hitting, Mike Trout, who's 30 years old, but body seems to be on the decline. Kind of, It's kind of breaking down on him, you know what I'm saying? But even when healthy, they still aren't doing much as far as team winning, team building, you know, so – um, and even Otani said to him, uh, self, um, I had a quote somewhere, but basically he, he, he said that he, him, him and his team have not discussed contract extension negotiations with the angels at all, at all, <laughs> you know, but he, he did say, <clears throat> excuse me, he did make up a, a good political point and say, uh, you know, I, I have two years left on my deal, so it's no point. It's too early, blah, blah, blah. He's being PC. He's being he, he's being politically correct. He's not trying to resign. <laughs> he's, I wouldn't do it. You know, and, and I think Otani comes from a, the same case as a guy like Juan Soto. You know, young guys who just want to to to, to win. You know, forget the money, forget the fifteen four hundred million plus. I want to get. I'll take I'll take the same deal where I can win it or a little cheaper or something. You know what I'm saying? I want to be in the mix. I want to be in the playoff hunt. That's what these players want. Most players want. You know, you see in some sports, like bad, well, all sports, not just those sports, but, you know, take a Bradley Beal in, in baseball, in basketball. Take a Damon Lillard in basketball. They're getting five years, 200 plus million, 240 million, 210, or whatever the, the deal is to stay where they're at, but they have no chance of winning. You know, so that's, that's the ticket. That's, 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 that's the kicker that you get for getting all this money. Is it worth it? I don't know. You know, it's up to the person, which I'm not mad at either way, to be honest. But, um, you know, I think o o Otani would be in the same vein as a guy like Juan Soto, and they want to be in the mix. You know, and I, I understand that. You know, as, as a former player, my, myself play football, but as a former player, you know, just give me a chance. I don't care. I mean, I want to win, 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 win a ring. I want to win the title. Cool. 
But if I don't win one, that's fine. But give me a chance. Let me go to the playoffs. Let me get in the hunt. Let me even, let me just sniff it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me just sniff it. And I don't think with the Angels, no time soon, oh, uh, with Otani and or Mike Trout, because I believe he should be on the trade market as well if a team want to take him on. I don't think with either player or both players, they will be in, in, in the playoff hunt long term. You know, they might can get it together for one year. But as I said, the way Trout has, has been going, his body's breaking down on him bad in, in a bad way. You know, so I would try to get off Mike Trout's contract, to be honest. I would, if I'm the Angels, I would try to get off Shohei Otani's contract, and um, you know, I was just at doing, do, um, like I said, now it's kind of close. August second, it's kind of a tight window. Uh, it, it can definitely be, be 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 done, but I would just wait till till after this season, go to winter time, you know, uh, in the off season, and look, I'm hitting up every team. Give me your best pitch. <laughs> give me your best pitch. Give me. And, it, and don't even hit me up if not considering your, your top five, top three uh, players in your farm system. If you don't even consider them guys or put them up on the trade market or in, in a proposed trade, don't even hit me up about it. For real. That's all I would do. I would go wait till winter meetings and hit up everybody. Yo, <laughs> this is what we need. Guaranteed. Three players from your top five in your farm system. Maybe all your top five. And I need a couple of young guys that's in the rotation now, starting, hitting, whatever. I need, I need something. I need a, a, a influx of new talent. You know, the Angels farm system isn't the best right now. Like, as I said, their entire team isn't the best right now. So they need help everywhere that they can get help at. And I'm really thinking, um, you know, I will set him to the highest bidder. I would want to make sure he – I would, would want to do him right. He's 20 years old. I would want to do him right. Um, and um, give him to a team that, that that can win, but also give us some talent too, you know, because he has been a godsend for the organization. He has helped them out market-wise, you know. He's he, He's been a stud. He's been a stud, man. So, and I, I think I said something incorrect uh, earlier in the video. I said he'll be a free agent in 2023. I was wrong. He, he hits arbitration in 2023 and will be hitting unrestricted free agency until 2024. So I was wrong on there. So he'll be a free agent at 30 years old, roughly. Um, you know, but still, you know, I just don't see a situation where he resigns. I really don't. I think he just thugs it out, keep quiet for two years, <laughs> and just plays play his best, you know, whether the team's winning or losing. I don't think he forced a trade nothing like 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 that. He's he's he seems like he's a mild mouth professional guy, but I really think that he should just, you know, wait his two years out. Or the organization should decide on them themselves that hey, we can't do nothing with him. There's no point wasting this guy's talent. You know, I I, w- I would feel bad honestly if I'm a a GM or owner or team president just to sit and waste a guy's talent. You know, put him in somewhere where he can win, where he can show his greatness in in the playoffs. Don't cheat the don't cheat the, the the game of great performances in big moments because you want to keep your marketability high. You know that's just my thing. If I'm the Angels or any organization that has a star player that should be somewhere else because you can't win, don't cheat the the, the game of great moments, of potential great moments, or of great teams. If you know because you want marketability, I you know just for another year or two. But that's just my opinion on it, guys. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Should the Angels trade Shohei Otane? I think they should during the winter, during the offseason. Uh, right now, it's kind of tight to try to get it done before August 2nd. But definitely in the wintertime, during the offseason, I say trade them. Try to trade Trout, too, <laughs> you know, while he's healthy. Uh, during the offseason and trade both of those guys and start a new, have, the, have a top five farm system, top ten farm system, and just try to rebuild best way that you can. But that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.